Hey, what's going on everybody? And welcome back to The Whiskey Cove. And on today's episode, we take a look at the $300 that I spent at Justin's House of Bourbon in Kentucky. And we ask the question, how did I do? Let's find out, run the video. All right then folks, before we get into today's video, if you haven't already, or if you don't already know, the Whiskey Cove is doing a 5,000 subscriber giveaway. So far we have three bottles on set giveaway and what you need to do to be in it with a chance to win one of those three bottles or the six that we'll get all together. So you definitely need to be a subscriber for the channel. That's the first thing. Keep checking back for updates as well. And then secondly, you need to put your ticket into the free giveaway. So go over to the Whiskey Cove's website, the whiskeycove.square.site. The link is down in the description below. And then go ahead and submit that ticket and come back and watch the rest of this video because you're gonna to wanna to stick around for some of these bottles that I pick up today. However, what bottles do we have so far in this free giveaway? So we already have three and we'll be adding another three, one for every 500 subscribers until we get to that 5,000 subscriber mark. And I appreciate you all folks for joining in and helping with this year. And today's a special day because we're revealing a new poem. We might not be at 4,000 or again, pretty close. It depends when this video is coming out, but we're dropping that ball here today. So first up, the first ball we have is the Old Forester Barrel Strength Single Barrel. And then secondly, we have a ball donated by Alex, a fan of the channel here. And that is a Willet Four Year Ripe. Thank you, Alex. And then third up, we have Weller Antique 107, an excellent ball to be in with a chance for you folks at home to get. And then last a new bottle to be added is going to be early times bottled in bond not just any old early times bottled in bond it's one of the black cap brown foreman early times bottled in bond so these don't make the brown foreman ones anymore it's all made through sazerac so some folks say that the juice is different i've tried them there's minimal difference but there is definitely a difference there this whiskey also shares the same mash bill with King, King of Kentucky, as we found out recently. So if you want to get in with a chance to win these four balls, definitely sign up for that free giveaway and be on the lookout for the next two balls that'll be on this giveaway. So let's get these balls out of here. All right then, let's get into today's video, shall we? So if you don't already know, Justin's House of Bourbon is a very popular whiskey spot for folks going to the whiskey row on Louisville or in Louisville, Kentucky there. They do some excellent picks on it pretty renowned for their picks. Yes, they do have some other allocated high-priced stuff there, which is more than probably what you would pay from your local store. However, they do have some availability for that stuff if that's what you want. Maybe just splurge in while you go for a trip down in Kentucky. And also they have a bar and they can serve some un interesting and unique whiskeys there as well, some allocated stuff. Again, you're gonna be paying a decent amount of money, but definitely a good place to go to get some special stuff there. So I wanted to do this video, spend $300 at Justin's House of Bourbon. And then just kind of seeing how we did here. We didn't get, get a fantastic amount of balls. We wanted to go for quality over quantity. And at the end, we'll kind of ask the question, how did we do? So first up, I wanted to get some bottles that I wasn't able to get in, in uh, Colorado. And I don't necessarily mean allocated bottles. I just mean the bottles that are just not released here. First up, we picked up Old Bardstown Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. This is aged, uh, not sorry, aged. This is alcohol, 50% ABV or 100 proof. Distilled and bottled by Willet Distillery there. This cost me $29.99. I think that might be a little over MSRP, but again, a bottle that I can't find or they don't even, yeah, it doesn't come to Colorado. I know some of Willet's bourbon is kind of hit or miss. I think pot still is not very, uh, it's, <laughs> people don't really approve of that juice, so it's not very nice. Uh, compare that to some of the bourbons that they do in the purple tops, which is phenomenal juice. There's a, definitely a big scale there to go off of. So I'm kind of excited to get into this one. This is. It does have a plastic cap, you know, it doesn't scream premium, but apparently it's Kentucky's gold medal award at the State Fair. It doesn't say what year that State Fair was, it just says a State Fair in Kentucky give this a gold award. So hopefully the folks that hadn't had too much of this before they started dishing out those gold medals. So, so far $30 for this one with bottle number one. So then sticking kind of with some of the cheaper budget whiskies, another bottle that we cannot get in Colorado, and that is going to be JTS Brown. Again, much like the old Bardstown, a nice plastic cork that screams premium. This is again bottled in bond at 100 proof or 50% ABV. This is a Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey out of JTS Brown Sons and Company there. 
distilled in Bardstown, Kentucky. So this is a Heaven Hill product. Um, they must have bought the name many, many moons ago and this can, it comes under the Heaven Hill umbrella now. This cost me a grand total of $17.99. So we're not exactly splurging so far, but again, you know, we want to be able to get something unique. It's no point of me buying something there that I can get in Colorado. Yes, albeit maybe one or two of these balls I can get in Colorado. However, we wanted to get some unique balls, and I definitely think that we got here with that. And I know there's a little bit of a, like a fan base with the JTS browser, much like something like a mellow corn. Uh, and coming in at 100 proof, I feel like you're gonna get a bit more flavor than something that's maybe 40% ABV or 80 proof. So I'm excited to get into this one. So far, I haven't tried these two bourbons, but that was JTS Brown's bottle number two. So then for bottle number three, we were in Louisville, so we thought, heck, let's get something old Forrester, shall we? This sometimes comes to Colorado, sometimes you can find it. It doesn't necessarily have the greatest of reputations in the old Forrester lineup, but I wanted to get something a little bit different, and maybe something was a little harder to find in Colorado. And that is gonna be old Forrester Statesman. Coming in at 95 proof of 47.5%. How much did I pay for this? I paid $59.99 potentially a little bit on the high side, but um, it depends on where you are in the country. Like these prices, or this price is probably what you, I would pay in Colorado anyway. I feel like Colorado has a 5% uh, increase on MSRP than other parts of the United States. And then California probably has like a 10 and 15%. Just, that's kind of like your baseline of what you come to expect here. So this is distilled and bottled by Old Forester, and it is the Statesman. Uh, this was made, I believe, for a film not so long ago, and I think that they keep continuing to make it. I can't remember the name of the film, but if I'm able to find it, I think it was obviously probably called The Statesman. I'll put it on the screen there as well. Don't know too much about the film, know a little bit about the whiskey, but I've never tried it. So I'm looking in, oh, I'm looking forward to getting into this one and seeing how it compares to some of the other old Forrester lineups, like the 1920 and like the 1910. Um, and we'll kind of see how that compares there as well. But I'm excited I was able to get this ball. Like I said, you're not able to always get it. So let's see kind of how this drinks in another video. But that was Old Forester Statesman. So we have two bottles left. And we kind of went away from bourbon for this one. And that's because we went to a really interesting rye here as well. So I don't really talk much about barrel bourbon in general on this channel, because I usually don't really like to pay the $100 or so that they generally cost. However, there is one that I've tried a bunch of times and I very, very much like it. I've had a bottle once upon a time, but I haven't renewed one for a while here. And this is the price I paid for this is the same that I would pay in Colorado. However, I still wanted to get it. And that is barrel seagrass. What is barrel seagrass? I'll tell you exactly what it is now. It is a rye whiskey finished in martini rum, Madeira, and apricot, or apricot, depending on where you're from, brandy barrels. So Martinique rum, Madeira, and apricot brandy barrels. And you get every single one of those notes. You get the rice price. You get kind of like the candy cane rum note. You get the Madeira note, and then the apricot sweetness and stone fruit kind of takes over. A very drinkable, enjoying, enjoyable summer whiskey summer rye. I don't generally drink rye in summer, but if I do, this is exactly what I'm looking for. How much should I pay? $89.99. The only place I've ever seen it cheaper than that is a Costco for $79.99. Much like that price, $89.99 is pretty much the same in Colorado. Sometimes you'll see it for $100, sometimes you'll see it for more. So I feel like that was a very fair price. ABV on this guy is going to be 60 0.19% ABV or 120.38 proof. Boom. How do you like that? Excellent bottle of whiskey, and as you can see, I've already opened it. It's just a glorious bottle, a fantastic addition from barrel to a rye, uh, into a rye series that uh, you generally don't hear many flavors like this. Maybe like the good time stuff, and people have started rolling out different flavors like that now, but barrel, or one of the founders for that, I feel like, for excellent, excellent rye here. So that was barrel seagrass. I'm very happy I was able to get this. And the next bottle is going to be a whiskey that we don't, or hasn't, or maybe has just come to Colorado. This is something that I've never seen uh, in Colorado, but I've heard about it maybe dropping in a couple of different places here. This was a store pick, and this whiskey is something that Justin's is kind of known for doing. So I wanted to get this bottle anytime I was going back down to Louisville. I definitely wanted to get one of these bottles. And I've never tried this bourbon brand before. Uh, so without being said, the last bottle on today is Nulu Toasted Wheated. 
Um, so I love wheated whiskey and I love toasted whiskey. I've never had a toasted wheater before. So I'm very excited to see how this comes out. You could say that the Maker's Mark BRT02 has some toasty flavored notes, so that might be similar. However, with this guy, this is coming in higher proof, or actually very similar, 56.1% ABV. The only drawback that I have with this is that it's, it's a five-year-old whiskey. So it's very youthful. So it's gonna be interesting to see if they can round out some of those youthful notes with that double barrel kind of toasted note there. So the mash bill for this, 51% corn, 45% wheat and 4% malted barley. That's very, very wheat forward. Wheated bourbons like Weller's and Maker's Mark have a lot less than that. However, they went full wheat on this, 45% wheat. And they say, for this expression, we take straight bourbon whiskey and rebarrel it into new toasted American oak barrels to finish. The finish takes anywhere from three to eight weeks, which is actually not too long in all consideration. How much did I pay for this? I paid $84.99 for this. And like I said, this is a store pick from Justin's House of Bourbon. So a very unique bottle and one, like I said, I wanted to try for a while. So all of these bottles with tax came just shy of like $300. But we weren't going to include tax. So we did ourselves, uh, we did ourselves a little bit of a cheeky number and we had a pour of whiskey whilst we were there as well at the bar. I think it was an E.H. Taylor single. No, it was like, oh, it was old Carter's bourbon there. My only drawback about uh, has Justin's House of Bourbon is that the prices that they tell you are for one ounce whiskey. Uh, and they were a little bit high for one ounces, but you know, you pay for what you get on Whiskey Row in Louisville. So you're not gonna go down there to try to save money. You're probably gonna splurge a little bit. It is a little bit touristy down there, but you know, like I said, it is Louisville, Kentucky there. So they are the five bottles that we have today. So just to reiterate, Old Bardstown, JTS Brown. Uh, we had this Old Forester Statesman. We have the Barrel Seagrass, and then we have the Nulu Wheated. How did we do? So I think this is kind of dependent, dependent on how they drink i guess because i haven't tr I tried them obviously i've tried that so that i know that's worth the money but these three i've never tried i've never tried nulu so it could be a complete waste of money or at least 220 or 210 dollars waste of money but i'm hoping we'll get some value from these other ones here so overall how do i how do i think i do yes i wasn't able to get any allocated products but i got just about everything that i'd set out to do so i'll probably say about eight out of ten that could go up to a nine or that could drop down to like a three, I guess, if those whiskeys are not very good. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Something a little bit different. Yes, I like to do these $300 store haul type videos for you folks at home. But as you can imagine, they get quite expensive after a while. So there's not going to be too many more in the future. We'll just kind of see how it goes. Maybe I'll just save some money for a while and then kind of splurge on one of these hauls somewhere. So hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, definitely be in subscribe and be into a chance to win one of those lottery balls as we say on this video as you drink through the world's whiskies one glass at a time thank you everybody cheers <laughs>